Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Now I wanna talk about this really disturbing case and it's coming from Anchorage, Alaska. I don't think we have ever had an Alaska story on this channel whatsoever, but this story is very, very disturbing. It has to do with three first graders and they go to a charter school and basically these first graders were busted out by another student. They had put together a plot to poison another first grader and try to kill her. What they wanted to do was take silica packets that come in seaweed and it also comes like in, um, you know, if you like buy whatever, like shoes or hair weave, they also put a silica packet in there to keep things fresh. Now, the thing about silica is that it's not poisonous. You have to take a lot of it to die. But these kids, for whatever reason, they came up with this plan to take their silica packet from their seaweed chips and to basically put it in this girl's food to poison her in hopes of killing her. If this ain't some devilish, devious shit, I don't know what is. Go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. To me that a, somebody that young could come up with a plan like that or like, gosh, I didn't think I had to think about t talking to my, my child about, you know, leaving his food unattended. <laughs> Disturbing behavior inside a local charter school where officials say three first grade students could try to plot to poison a classmate. Good evening, everyone. Three first grade students are under suspension tonight following the foiled plan that's according to the school's principal. It's a situation that has parents alarmed. As Channel 2's Mallory Peebles tells us, the threat was so serious, Anchorage police got involved. Mallory? That's right, an APD, an APD resource officer got involved investigating the case, confirming that there was a plot to poison a first grader by her fellow classmates. Now, late this afternoon, I talked to the parents of one of the girls suspended, and he says this actually isn't the first time this plot has been foiled. Still, he doesn't think that it's that big a deal and it's being blown out of proportion. Children are encouraged to have imagination, but a plan allegedly hatched by three first grade girls at Winterberry Charter School last week has parents disturbed and worried. My first reaction was definitely shock. Um, I just couldn't believe that somebody, some children as young as they were first grade could come up with something like this. A plot to kill a fellow first grade classmate. The father of a Winterberry first grader who didn't want to be identified says he initially learned of the plan from his child who is a classmate of the girls and then by email from the principal. This was sent to us. Which writes in part, quote, three girls in the class were planning on using silica gel packets from their lunchtime seaweed to poison and kill another student. The good news here is that another student learned about this plan or intention and as soon as they learned of it they immediately notified their teacher, their parents and the principal which is then how we were notified. An Anchorage police officer investigated the case but no charges will be filed saying it's up to the school and district to set a punishment. In this case the principal says that's a multiple day suspension. Is that I mean, is that the appropriate punishment for um, a school that, you know, has a several year waiting list? Again, it's a lottery school and, you know, there's plenty of other kids that are waiting to get in this school. I mean, uh, I don't think that they deserve to be at this school. More than 400 kids are on the wait list to attend Winterberry, a charter school that promotes hands-on learning. The lesson here? Teach your kids that if they hear something like this, something where someone intends to do harm to someone else, that they should tell someone that they trust right away. Now again, the man that you heard from in that story was not related to the suspects or the victim. That was somebody totally different. But silica gel, the, uh, the material that was going to be used in this alleged plot, now that's actually non-toxic, but according to the school's principal in the email that was written, the girls that were plotting to use it didn't know that it wasn't going to cause harm. They thought it actually would. Reporting live from Winterberry Charter School, Mallory Peebles. All right, so you guys just watched that news clip and a lot of things really, really disturbing with this story. First of all, they're saying that this is a really good charter school and there's a waiting list with over 400 kids on the waiting list. I'm sorry, but all three of these students need to be expelled from that school and they need to give three other deserving students a chance to go to that school. I don't think that me as a parent would be comfortable with my child still being in the same classroom with three little demons who try to poison her and kill her, okay? You know, that just doesn't sit well with me that these kids are still allowed to go to the same school and be in the same classroom as the victim. That's insane. To me, this is just really, really devious, but it says more about what these kids are being exposed to than even the children. These kids are in first grade, meaning that they're no older than six years old. Where do six-year-olds get in their mind that they can take something and poison somebody else? You know, a lot of times people like to act like kids are just innocent. 
and they're just little angels. But some of these kids are just damn demonic, okay? This is some evil ass shit. You do not play with people's food and you do not go about trying to poison somebody. And the fact that three six year olds decide to devise this plan says a lot. And my thing is this, what the hell did the other six year old do to them that was that bad? Like, what do you do to somebody at the age of six that, that, that is that horrible? You've only been in school two damn years. You started school in kindergarten. How much beef can you have between kindergarten and first grade? I can see if these girls were like in junior high and high school. Y'all ain't but been in school two damn years. It's like, what the hell is wrong with these kids? And another thing, a lot of adults need to watch what they watch in front of their children. You know, a lot of folks think that they can watch anything in front of their kids and that, you know, kids are just kids. They're not paying attention. They're playing with their toys. Obviously, these kids have been too exposed to the damn ID channel, okay? Now, that is my channel, honey. The ID channel be creeping me the hell out, but I watch it every night. You know, they've been watching Wise with Knives and, you know, the first 48 and cold cases and 24 hours and snapped and everything else. You can get some crazy ass ideas, honey, watching the ID channel. Investigation discovery is no joke. And I would not be allowing my six-year-old to sit in the same room with me as I watch something like that because everything, this whole little plot, the way they came up with it, it sounds like something from Frenemies. If you guys have ever seen that episode on ID where, you know, best friends turn into Frenemies and they end up killing one another or one of the best friends snaps and she ends up killing her friend. I mean, the whole situation is just crazy to me. But the only good thing I can say that came with this story is kudos to the young girl who heard about the plot, you know what I'm saying, who knew that deep down inside it was wrong and she went and told on the other three girls. She should be held a hero, okay? That is what you're supposed to do when you hear something like that going on. You know, I'm tired of this whole stop snitching movement. In certain situations, you need to snitch because if they can sit there and poison this girl, Girl, what's to say that they won't poison you next? You know, so people need to think about that. You know what I mean? If somebody could hurt this person's family member, what's to say that you may not become a victim or your family member may not become a victim? So folks need to stop that whole not snitching policy, the whole stop snitching thing. I'm glad this girl decided to go and tell an adult as opposed to holding it in and not saying anything. The whole situation to me is just really, really disturbing. These girls need to be kicked out of this charter school and their asses need to be homeschooled, okay? I don't think it's fair for this six-year-old victim to have to see these girls in the hallway or to even have to deal with them in the classroom. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing ass situation, honey, that's coming from Anchorage, Alaska. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.